One of the new tools in Adobe Lightroom 5, the public beta of which was just released by Adobe this week, is the radial filter. Now, this filter is found up here next to the adjustment brush and the graduated filter. Uh, and it works, uh, gives us the same kind of controls as the adjustment brush or the grad filter has given us in the past. Now, we would want to use this, uh, we want to draw the attention of the viewer to a certain part of our photograph. Um, so the radio filter is going to allow us uh, to do that. So in this photo, which I've shot at f5.6, so I've got some depth of field. So I have um, my model here, she's quite sharply focused, as well as the background. I kind of want to soften that background a bit. I want to pull a bit more attention to, to the lady here. So I can use the radio filter for that. So I will select it and it's going to allow me to draw a circular or an elliptical to oval shape around her. Um, I can just hold the mouse, drag it around and change my shape. So I'm going to position it so that it's coming from the top of her head down. I'm going to drag it down so that it's basically covering her upper body. We're going to let her legs and her hands go outside a bit, but we're going to cover um, basically the, the top part of her. Now the adjustments we make actually make outside the circle, outside my oval here. So any adjustments I make in the panel here on the right are going to be affected outside. So we're going to square all that. So we have everything now. This is all zeroed out. I haven't made any adjustments to this photo at all, only this filter. So I'm going to soften this background a bit to take some attention away from it. So I'll take my clarity slider and I'll drag it across to minus 100. So if you take a look, here's the before and here's the after. So it was taken out a little bit of the softness by using the clarity. I'm going to do the same with the sharpness. I'm going to take that out to minus 100 too. And we'll get rid of our filter. Okay, so let's take a look at the two images together. So here is before. It's on the left. Everything is quite sharp in the background. Here's the second photo on the right. We've taken, used the radial filter and we've softened the background with the clarity and the sharpness both to minus 100. So we can take a look on the full screen. Uh, so here it is. This is the final one. And this is the before version. OK, so you can see it's made quite a difference. Now you could take this into Photoshop and you could use layer masks and the blur tools there to achieve this, but it's going to take you a lot longer. This is something we can do in maybe 30 seconds or a minute, which is going to get a pretty good starting point for you for your future uh, for your further adjustments. So take a look at the, the public beta, take a look at the new tool of the radio filter and play around with it. I think you'll like, you'll get some pretty good, uh, pretty good options here. So check it out.